Hey queens, welcome to my channel. It's your favorite Gem African queen. Today we are getting into the new Makeup by Mario foundation. So today I'm using the shade 25W. Also, don't forget to stick around because we are doing a wear test. So at the end of this video, you guys will be able to see my thoughts, my opinions, and how long does this makeup actually last? So if that's something you're interested in, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting off by just concealing under my eyebrows and shaping them up and concealing on my eyelids. Shout out to my sister for this cute makeup bag that she got me for Christmas with my YouTube name on it. Now I'm just going in with the e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer. This is the one with niacinamide in it. I do love this primer. I love how sticky it gets and I really do feel like it makes your makeup last a lot longer. So I typically pad this into my skin until it feels really sticky and that takes about 30 seconds. Since I'm extremely oily in my T-zone area, I like to go in with the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. I know that it's discontinued, but it is my go-to primer. Now I'm just going in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and this is in the shade Deep Chestnut. I like to apply my concealer before my foundation just because I don't like an extremely heavy look. So this just helps me avoid like a cakier look. And once I let that dry down, I just go ahead and go in with my beauty blender and just blend all of the concealer that's on my face. And for eyeshadow, I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Bronze Palette. I just like to use a bronzer on my eyelids because I feel like it really brings the look together whenever I add my bronzer. All right, and I did do my eyelashes off camera, but let's get to the star of the show. We have the Makeup by Mario Foundation in the shade 25W. I went ahead and started off with two pumps, and now I'm just placing it around my face with my fingertips and just using that dot technique to spread it all around. This foundation is very lightweight. I will say it has more of a watery consistency, but I do feel like the shade really matched my undertone and I love that for me. I'm just going in with my Kabuki brush and blending it out. I will say this wasn't a hard foundation to blend in. I feel like it really melted into my skin seamlessly. So blending the foundation and applying the foundation, I don't feel like I had any issues. Since this is a more luminous foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and try and mattify it with my Milani Make It Last spray. I also am doing this because I need this foundation to last all night. I'm about to be in the club, okay? And now I'm just taking my beauty blender and trying to melt and blend everything into the concealer that I already have, as well as just getting some of that excess foundation that I have off. Next, I'm going in with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'll leave the shade in the description box, but this shade is extremely light, but I want a super bright under eye for tonight because this is my night. This is New Year's Eve, okay? I really like using this cream bronzer by ColourPop because it has hyaluronic acid, so it's a little bit more hydrating, but it blends well, and I like the red tone that it gives off. I'm definitely a bronzer girl. I love to have a nice bronze look. It just does something to me. Mm. Now it's time to go ahead and set my eyes. I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Powder. And this one, I swear by it. I used to be a Laura Mercier girl, but this Huda Beauty, it really gives me that filtered look. I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Powder and I'm just going to set my smile lines so that way they have a harder time coming out to play. Thank you. 
Now I'm going in with the Juvia's Place bronzer palette, the same palette that I used for my eyeshadow. And we're just going to use this to set our cream bronzer and just really make it pop. Using a fluffy brush that I've dipped into some micro smooth powder, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away the excess powder that's on my face. I like doing this because it just gives me a more smoother look and a filtered finish and that's what we want. Okay, so I feel like this is where I messed up. I don't think that you should bake in areas that you don't need to bake in. It seems like whenever I baked, the foundation changed color, so it went a little bit lighter. You can't see it here, but whenever I went into the bathroom, it just looked a little bit more yellow toned than I was expecting. And of course, using the same palette that we use for eyeshadow and bronzer, we're just going to go ahead and snatch up our nose. I'm also a blush girl. I love me some blush. So I put it on my cheeks, but I also put it on my nose because I just like the look. I feel like it brings out my bronzer a little bit more and my, the point on my nose, mm, chef's kiss. And on the lips, we're using Juvia's Place Lip Pencil and this is in the shade Brownie. And just to fill everything in, I went ahead and went in with this Urban Decay Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Once Strangers. For some reason, I feel like this had a little bit of heat to it. It was very warm on my lips. I don't know, that just might be me or maybe I might be allergic to it, who knows? And we're just going to bring everything together with this Milani Make It Last finishing spray. I also like to add my highlighter while my setting spray is still setting just because I feel like the highlighter really pops whenever you do that. I don't know, that's kind of 2011 of me, but I like to do it that way. All right, y'all, and at this time, it's seven o'clock. So remember, I put this foundation on at 7 p.m. New Year's Eve. This is my makeup at 10 p.m. So far, so good. We had to go, so I couldn't explain. Okay, so this is drunk me trying to basically tell y'all how I feel about the foundation. I did notice that I got a few pimples or whiteheads because of the foundation, but I think it's because it has a more luminous, oily type of base to it. Um, I do feel like it held up in place. I did get a few smile lines, but not too bad for someone who was sweating in the club. So overall, I feel like it was okay, but it is a very oily foundation. So if you're oily, I really don't recommend this foundation. And that's just my review for night one. I feel like it's super dark. Ooh, that scared me. Okay, so I tried the Makeup by Mario foundation again. So this is day two. Today is New Year's Day. So a few things that I did differently is I only used one pump. I think I used too much yesterday. Um, and then I also didn't set, I didn't set my face like around here. You can still see like the, you can still see like the bumps from yesterday, but it's okay. Um, I do feel like it's extremely sheer. I want it to look like skin. I was trying to go for a heavier look yesterday, but I think I did too much. So tonight it's kind of similar than last night, but 
probably not gonna be as hot. <laughs> so we'll see how this holds up. It's it's eight o'clock right now, okay? So I'll update you guys throughout like the night, okay? Hello. Okay, so I feel like, oh, you guys can see the little sparkle. I just, okay, can y'all see that? Let me get in there. Okay, so this is the foundation and what's going on right now, let me zoom in. I feel like I'm oily, even though I used like, um, I used, what is that primer? I used the Becca primer um, for my nose, but I do feel like I'm getting oily. I feel like this is just, I don't feel like this is the best foundation for me, um, being oily, but we'll see whenever we get back into the house. So I can show you guys from the bathroom. All right, so it's 12.30 a.m. in the morning. Honestly, you can see that the foundation held up immensely. I love the fact that it stayed on as well as it did, but I really do feel like this is more of a winter foundation. I wouldn't wear this foundation in the summer because it seems like whenever you sweat or any type of moisture that's in the air, it's really going to start becoming an oily type of look, and I'm not going for that. I honestly will be returning it just because I like Estee Lauder a little bit better. I don't want to ever have to worry about looking oily because that's my biggest problem. I'm already oily. The reviews are correct. It does feel like skin. It does look like skin. It matched my skin tone to a T. My only issue is just really being oily in my T-zone area, even after using the Becca Cosmetics primer that I use. So I will be reverting back to my Estee Lauder, but this was a really great trial run with Mario's products and I'm glad I got to try it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye.